Hi, this is Robert Tube today on the Hunter Colorado Wild West Silver Ridge Peaks, and we're making a brand new black bear hunting guide for 2022. Now, if you haven't seen my recent videos, I've been covering Silver Ridge Peaks, covering all the species, and making individual guides for all the animals there. And today we're after black bear. Now I'm hunting during a drinking need zone time. We'll go over all these in a minute. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, but three to late 30 in the afternoon is a really good time to hunt black bears and the around water. And once you find out where all those locations are, which we'll go over in a minute, you can find lots of black bears. So it's quite fun to hunt. Silveridge Peaks is probably the most favorite reserve in Coral Wild. So that's why I've been covering all the animals on Silveridge Peaks. So where's these bears? And we're using the 338, the Black Bears Class 7, um, and we're looking for a nine legendary, which I have got over here. I thought that was him, but that's a mythical. So we've got a mythical join the group now. What I'm doing is I'm just glassing over these bulrushes. Sometimes they sit in them and their back doesn't come out the bulrushes, so you can't see them fully, and I think that's what's happening with the legendary at the moment. So we're gonna go straight forward on this right hand side to that little hill and then look down and hopefully the legendary black bear is there. I've had quite a few diamond black bears off Silver Edge Peaks. It's probably the best place to hunt black bears and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's good visually as well. A lot of the lakes are quite flat or open, so they're really easy to hunt. Some of the small ponds as well on Silveridge Peaks have quite a few black bear. I've noticed over the last week I've been hunting them that some of the tiny ponds that you think there won't be much there, there can be four or five black bears there. So you really have to just check all the small ponds and locations, which we'll go over in a minute on a locations map that I'm going to show you. And I'll show you the best areas to hunt black bears on Silveridge Peaks. So we've got the 338. I was thinking we could do with some big game rifles, some new ones. I'd like to see that. We've got Finland coming soon. We don't know what else is coming with that. We know there's 19 species on the map. I can't believe that. That's going to keep me very busy doing guides for a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I can't wait for it. The, the community as a whole um, really has embraced it and it looks stunning. So I can't wait to see more of that soon. And I'm sure they'll give us some more clues. And next week, they're going to show us something on Tuesday. So, can't wait to see what that is. So, we're getting up to this hill. Always work out if you're going to creep up on an animal, you know where it is, your route you're going to take. Try and find how the animal, if you know the area spooks, which way to go. Certain animals will go certain ways. Um, and if you remember that, you will know when you approach and work all this out in your head before doing it, where, if you spook the animal, where it may go. By working all this out before you get to take your shot, it saves the panic of if something goes wrong, you're not expecting it, so you ain't got to work all that out and make the shot at the same time. Uh, it does help, especially when you're new as well, because you might panic a bit. If you haven't shot a trophy animal, and you put pressure on yourself. So just take your time, work through it in your head how you're going to approach it, and if it goes wrong, don't worry about it. You can always come back. It's it, the need zone. It will come back to that area. So you don't need to rush your shot. And uh, don't worry if you do, because I, as I always say, everyone does it in the game at some point. <laughs> right. So where's this legendary black bear? He should be below us, but I can't see him. We've seen a mythical there. And I know for a fact there was a legendary there. I wonder if he's late. Oh, I just can't see him. I think he is just in the bulrushes with that group of bears. That's not him. Can't see him. So where is he? <laughs> He's trying to make a fool of me. He's got a new camouflage technique. Right. Come on, black bear, where are you? I can't see it. <laughs> See, look, it doesn't always go to uh, plan. You can rehearse all you want, but it doesn't always go to plan. <laughs> Ask anyone who YouTubes or streams. Where's the black bear gone? I haven't spooked it, and I can't see it. 
Oh look, he is there. <laughs> look, he's got his two. <laughs> he's got his two lookouts. Mythical's watching the legendary and saying, "Come on, Ron's here. He's going to shoot you." He's off. He didn't mess about, did he? He was like, "Whoop, nope, <laughs> I'm out." <laughs> Yeah, the mythicals covered some ground. They can run really fast as well, as fast as like race horses. It's unreal how fast bears can go. So that's pretty realistic, to be honest. I'm surprised the legendary didn't move, and he did. I have done pronghorn guides, so check that out if you've already seen it. And like I say, I've covered most of the species on Subridge Peaks. I've got a very special Great One video coming up. I have managed to bag my tenth Great One. So that video will be out of the weekend, but uh, I can't believe it. It, it was a very nerve-wracking uh, video, and uh, I didn't want to mess it up. And uh, like I say, it's turned out great. So you'll see that at the weekend. If you want to see any guide videos, it's a troll. Drop it in the comments. I can't believe that's a troll. Oh, look at that. Point one under. 22.80 we needed, and we got 22.70. <laughs> you little troll. So they're not always diamonds, but I'm glad to get him. And the main reason is to make the guy to show you where to hunt and when to hunt. So we're gonna go over those details in a minute. I'll show you my map, where my best locations are, and all the details for Black Bear. But yep, yeah, I thought we had a diamond Black Bear with this legendary one. We passed the checks, but it was a troll. Point one under, I can't believe it. Right. So let's go on to where to hunt them and the best locations to hunt black bears. Right, here we go. So here's my map of Silver Ridge Peaks. All the red areas, there's no black bear there. And all the white areas is where you want to focus. The ones with the yellow rings around, those locations are the best locations, in my opinion, to hunt black bears. But check a lot of those little ponds on the bottom right hand corner because you get four or five black bears around them and the tiny lakes and you might ignore them don't ignore them make sure you check them but that top right hand lake sometimes is up to 20 black bears there i'm not joking if you go in the afternoon so let's go over the details of the black bear so need zone times first we'll do drinking need zone times so they've got two 11 in the morning till 12 30 and then it's three in the afternoon till 8.30 at night. I tend to go in the drinking time of three till 8.30. I start about 3.30 to four till 8.30. You've got a long period to check the ponds and locations out and that's really good. The feeding needs own times, five in the morning till 11. Resting is 12 at night till five in the morning and 12 midday till three. So they're the needs own times. You can use a caller, the predator, distressed fawn caller that works for them they're class seven they they go up to level nine uh, legendary the score is 22.8 for a diamond and 290 kilo is the max weight for black bears so that's all the details you need for black bears the locations my favorite locations um, all the details you need and i hope that helps you out so today we've been making a black bear guide for 2022 on Silver Ridge Peaks. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.